paying attention to the trolls, especially the ones that even name their channels troll. You know, that's brilliant. Two, 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 three, 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 four, four, four. Guacamole! Heather Ray TV, oh yeah! Guacamole! Reasonable! Articulo! His name was Chad! Chad! I live here! Welcome back everybody. Today you're in for a treat because we have the body cam footage of Amagansett Press getting arrested. And thank you so much to one of our subscribers called Roger for giving us the link to this video. He reached out to us on Instagram and this is a fantastic video. I'm so happy we're able to bring this to you guys. Maybe some of you have seen it, but I've never seen it and it's hilarious. Amagansett Press looks so good in handcuffs. It does him so well. Anyways, enjoy the video. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. What can I help you with? At this point, you're in violation of Florida Statute 18. I am not in violation of any For standing here taking pictures of UPS, I'm, work, I'm a photo journalist working on Florida. Can I help you? Okay, Count Press, I'll go on uh, we'll get with you just as soon as we're done here, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Credentials. If you could provide credentials. You told me I'm not being detained and I'm not breaking any laws, so I don't feel like I have any reason to give you any credentials. What would be the purpose of that? I literally am standing here with my camera facing that way, working on a story about UPS, and you gentlemen have all decided to come here and harass me today. That's what's going on. Well, we didn't just decide just to come. They, just because they don't know, they want to know why I'm here. That's up to them. You know, that's, that's, I don't have any lawful reason to explain myself to anybody. For anyone who is unfamiliar with this case, basically Amagansett Press was recording near a school and they told him multiple times to stop that he was breaking the statute and he wouldn't. So he got himself arrested. The charges were later dropped, but this is still hilarious. What does the statute say? The statute says be around a school without a lawful purpose. Now. The reason for that statute is to prevent people from doing the various things on a school property. Exactly right. I, agree right? I am a photojournalist working on a story, and I am not and here taking video of a neighbor. And that's all I sir. I don't have, what, what credentials would you like? To prove that you're a journalist. What would that look like? I have no idea. Show me some kind of credentials. There is no such thing. All he would have to do is give a link to his YouTube channel. Look, what I do is I harass people to make money and I bait cops into situation. This is what I'm doing. And they would let him go. But of course, he doesn't want to admit that. The government does not issue press pass. There's no such thing. I could print one up on my computer and show it to you. There's no such thing as a press pass. Okay. I've explained to you what I'm doing. I told you what I'm doing. It's just the mountain you're going down, sir. What do you mean is that the mountain I'm going to die? Something to put you in jail. You're in violation of what? So what would you like me to tell? So under threat of arrest, I'll give you my ID. I, I want you to leave. That's all I'm asking you to do is leave the premises of these schools. So you're going to throw me up? I'm not on the school premises. I'm across the street. You're within there. 500 feet, as I've already explained to you. School With the legitimate right, 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 business right, right, right. Right. Sir, I'll give you my ID. Hold on. Not, I, not, I told you. Get your hand out of your pocket. Sir, I told you. Get your hand out of your pocket. Put him in handcuffs. I was going to pull my ID out, sir. Sir, nobody asked. I'm on a public sidewalk taking videos, sir. And I just told you I'd give you my ID. You're making a big mistake. Sir, excuse me. I also have a very serious shoulder injury from 25 years ago. And I have a firearm and a concealed weapons permit on me. I've been standing here silently so Please don't throw my stuff on the floor, sir. So what happened here with the black screen is that I got this video from Honor Your Oath civil investigation or some stupid nonsense like that and he put a black screen to make sure he gets monetized because obviously it has nothing to do with transparency it only has to do with making money when it comes to the frauders so he put that black screen there that way youtube can monetize the video so unfortunately there's nothing i can do about it you just asked me to leave, and I yeah, said, I'll give leave. you my ID, and you're going to threaten me with arrest, did I not? A few moments later.
great job of gathering the evidence although i would have put some gloves on because you know it's amagansett press that thing must be very greasy but anyways for those who don't know the woman that's recording is actually his wife because for those who don't know he travels across the country with his entire family in an rv and harasses people for a living Can you please give me some air? You got a cage on this window. Can you do something for me? Right, I'm turning the air up for you, okay? Thank you. I don't understand what's going on. Let me check your cuffs for you. Sir, I mean, look how you got me bound up. You, listen, I'm going to loosen it if you want to rotate your hands more comfortably, okay? This is ridiculous. For taking pictures on a sidewalk, sir? Can we talk to this sergeant? Can I please try to work this out with you guys? This is a, sir, I'll leave. Peter. Can't you just like do some kind of, uh, uh, write me a ticket? I mean, this is ridiculous, sir. I'm taking pictures of a UPS facility on a sidewalk. Come on, man, I've been respectful with you guys. I haven't shown you any disrespect. But right, I only listen to this one if you're gonna rotate that hand as well. I'm not gonna give you any trouble, man. I'm a 51 year old man. I'm too old to be giving you any hard times. Sir, can we please discuss this? Go ahead and rotate. There you are. Sir, Sergeant. Sorry, I can't help you with that on Apple Watch. Sergeant. Sergeant, sir. Sir, stop hollering at him. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to work this out, I, man. I, it's I, foolish. I hear you. I hear you. I'm with my son. Oh! Oh! By the way, I apologize. It seems like the audio is a little bit delayed from the image for the rest of the video. Once again, there's nothing I can do to fix that. They both have that on them. Do I have? Yeah. This gentleman had it on him as well. See, they can come from here on the side. It's kind of crap. They know exactly what they're doing. So what were they filming initially? The school? Well, I think just down the road. We don't know for sure they were filming the school. This guy's local? No, I have no idea. They refuse to give me names. I don't have IDs. I don't even try. I got his ID right here. <laughs> Wouldn't it be so unfortunate if someone stepped on the camera? That would be such a terrible accident. Too bad that didn't happen. Man, I'm just trying to make a living, man. That's all I'm doing. We're trying to sort through this, man. I would appreciate any leniency and discretion you guys could afford me, man. If you want to write me a ticket, I'll go to court. I'm 51. I'm going to be 52 years old next month. I don't get in trouble. Where you live at? South Dakota. Okay, what brings you here? I'm traveling. I'm going to Kissimmee to see my mother-in-law and my sister-in-law, who I haven't seen for three years. My wife's mother and sister. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Oh my God. Stop fucking lying. And we're supposed to be leaving tomorrow, so this isn't really going to help my situation. I'm going to be in Florida all winter. We're going to be in Florida until April. Y'all family here? I have a lot of family in Florida. I have family right in uh, Santa Rosa Beach. Okay. I got family all over the place in Florida. I lived in Miami Springs for eight and a half years. Okay. I'm not the bad guy, man. I'm standing on the sidewalk taking pictures. At the end of the day, I was just saying to them, there's that thing, you, 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 can, you might beat it in court, but you can't beat the ride. I didn't break the law. I'm not gonna be found guilty of anything. This is a waste of time. If you guys wanna know who I am, I'll tell you who I am. Okay. You wanna know what I'm doing here? I'll tell you what I'm doing here. Okay. Arresting me and my son is not really productive. All I'm trying to do is pay my bills, man, and put food on the table and an honest, I'm a hardworking guy. Well, there you heard it, right out of the leprechaun's mouth. All he's trying to do is pay his bills. And obviously, no, he's not a hard worker, but it's all about the money. That's the only reason these idiots do what they do.
Been working hard for 35 years. I've been with that young lady for 37 years. I started dating her when I was 14 in high school. You've been in media most of your life? I went to the School of Visual Arts in Manhattan from 1989 until 1992, majoring in photography. And then I was a staff photographer for the New York Times for years. Okay. And then after that, I was a personal photo assistant to Patrick de Marchelier, one of the most famous fashion photographers that ever lived. I'm not the guy that's out here breaking the law, man. I didn't do anything wrong, I can promise you. And I'm not going to hang out with my 17-year-old son across my high school with some nefarious intent against the school. I don't even care the school's there. I have no interest in the school. This officer was sitting out in front of the school the whole time. He saw what I was doing. Never pointed my camera over there. I have no interest in the school. My son just graduated high school with a 4.0 average. He's a wonderful kid. He doesn't need to be sitting in the back of a police car. We're not those people. I can assure you, all I'm trying to do is pay my bills. And if it's going to make you feel better knowing who I am, and satisfy any thought that there might be something going on here. You have my ID, you know what I'm doing, I just explained everything I'm doing here. The only reason I didn't want to get into a whole conversation with people, which I never like to do, is because the sun's going down, it's the end of the day, I don't want to be accused of get, starting, a, a, a instigating people, harassing people, I try to stay out of conversations. You are such a liar. Every time that you stay on a property for more than 30 minutes and nothing happens, you try to instigate conversations. You try to get reactions because as we all know, without a reaction, there is no video. Okay, I also spent 14 years as a hotel manager. I'm not a criminal, okay? And I apologize to you if, if I came across having any kind of an attitude not answering your questions fast enough. All right, so I cut out about 15 minutes of him talking out of his ass as usual. So I'm going to fast forward to where he starts begging the police. That's the part we all want to see, right? I accept responsibility for that. And that's what I did. Wrong and, and you'll be able to explain that at first appearance tomorrow morning. You can't do it. You're going to make me sleep in jail tonight, sir? Yes, please don't. That's what we do. Please, sir. Can't you give me an appearance ticket? I will show up in court. Sir, please. I, I actually, I please, I'm begging. Local, Listen. If you had a local address, I could. But your address on your driver's license is not South Dakota or something like that. Sir, please, don't lock sir. me up overnight, man. Please, you don't know my history. Sir. I have, sir, I have very serious anxiety and panic issues. Please don't lock me up. What, I can't take them off? I will show up. I can't take them off. I promise you, I will show up. Take them you can keep my equipment for me. I wouldn't keep you, but we'll go away from that. Yeah, but sir, please don't lock me in the jail, sir. Please, I'm begging oh you. I didn't break the law. I begged you to leave. I will get out of here. You'll never see me again. Sir. Please, sir, sir. please, I'm begging you. I swear to you, I have anxiety and, and, and panic attack issues I'll that I'm just here. finally getting a handle please, on. Please, sir, please don't arrest me. I don't need to sleep please. in jail cell than I please, sir, I'm begging you. I totally understand that he has an anxiety disorder and that's unfortunate. Me too, I have anxiety, but one thing that I don't do is I don't go around committing crimes because that will definitely make my anxiety worse. So I avoid that. You should try that too, Jason. You should try finding something productive to do that doesn't involve harassing people and committing crimes. Please, I'm begging you too. Please. Sir, I promise you, I am not trying to break the law. And I am not a criminal. Not my laws are state of Florida. Sir, I'm not a law enforcement officer. I'm not a criminal, sir. Please, I'm begging you. Please, I'm begging you. Like one man or another, please, I am not breaking the law. And I do not want to spend the night with you. Please, Please, sir. Sir. Sergeant Granger, please. Please, have a, just have a moment. Take a moment to show sympathy for an old man. I'm 52 years old next month. Right? That's not old, bro. We're the same age. Yeah, but sir, I'm, all I'm doing is trying to work and pay my bills, man. I, That's I, it. I, I didn't do it. Please. I'm begging you, please. You're going to cause me. You don't know what you're going to do to my life if you lock me up for one night, man. Please. I'm not a criminal. Please, sir. Never you I didn't break the law here today, sir. Please. I will get out of here, I promise you, you'll never see me. I didn't call you criminal, but you did break the law. Well, sir, I did not intend to break the law. I, you told me that the statute says I have to have legitimate business purpose. I have a legitimate business purpose here. I'm working. He gave you so many opportunities to leave, but yet you chose to stay, and here you are in handcuffs. This is your decision. This is your doing. I'll give you my, I'll give you whatever you want. Oh, but please, sir, please don't make me sleep in jail. I'm begging you. We're not criminals. They're going to make me sleep in jail. Why? Sir, please. Please. Dude, please. Oh, my God, don't do that to him. You guys don't know what you're doing to me, man. Why? 
Where are you? Ma'am, stand right here. Ma'am, ma'am. Oh, ma'am. Ma'am, ma'am. You guys really don't know what you're doing in my life with this, man. Seriously, please. Sir, there's nothing wrong with you. 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 Sir, there's nothing
This gal that just walked in is looking at me. It looks like she's alerting one of the employees behind the counter there. This is just so creepy. To me, it kind of looks like a predator stalking its prey. Like you're just spying on it and you're waiting for the right moments to pounce. Looking back over here. Some more folks going in for their morning coffee. I'm lucky I've never run into any frauditors because I know the right attitude is completely to ignore them and pretend they don't exist, but I wouldn't be able to help myself. I would go and smack that phone right out of their hand. Looks like I got someone coming over here, hold on. Hi, how's it Sorry, going? can you please not record me? Oh, no, I have to document everyone that walks up to me. Okay, well, I don't feel comfortable with you doing that. Oh, okay. Uh, we've had a few customers yeah. that do feel uncomfortable that you are recording our store and following them. So oh, we I'm not following anyone. I've been standing here the whole time. What exactly the Stop lying. You are following them with your camera. You're zooming in on them from the entrance up to their car. That is creepy as can be documentation is for well, i can't it, discuss it, is, it at the moment yeah sorry yeah i do apologize but it oh, no is need to apologize it's our, not your fault both our employees and our customers and we are going to have to ask you to not point it directly inside the store oh well, i'm busy documenting everything i can see out here right now for yeah, part of I my story i'm working on but, like um, i said no need to apologize it's not your fault yes but we are going to have to ask you to stop because it is becoming an issue now oh an issue for who for both our employees We're just and customers. our customers. Oh, well, don't you guys have cameras in there for security? Yes, but it's for different purposes. Okay, well, I'm recording for my security right now because I have two people approaching me, so. Okay. What do you need security for? What do you guys need security for? Are you seriously that stupid? They're a business. They need security for potential holds up, employee stealing, incidents with customers. I swear, man, I don't know if they're really stupid or they're just pretending to be. We're just a business, so like... Every and I, and I'm a them. person looking out for myself right now with two people walking up to me and I don't know what you guys are going to do, so I have to document for my safety. We're just talking to you, we're not Okay, no, I know, but it's good for me to document, so... Okay, can you at least not point it directly at us? Oh, well, I mean, if you walk away, then it won't be pointed directly at you. Well, we're just trying to be a little civil here. It's oh, I know, really yeah. making us uncomfortable. I'll be out of here as soon as I'm done, so you don't got to worry about that. Okay, but can you not point it into the store, please? Well, that's part of what I'm doing right now, part of my job. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but it is becoming an issue for the business. What kind of issue is that? Making people uncomfortable. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not here to make anyone uncomfortable, so... Well, yeah, I do doing, understand though. that, but it is... Well, you're making me uncomfortable walking up to me and talking to me. So, I guess we're all uncomfortable, right? Okay. Well, you're the first person to make someone feel uncomfortable. Well, you're making me feel uncomfortable. So, simply walk away. <laughs> you have a good day. That is actually crazy because this frauditor is scaring away customers from this business and there is nothing the business can do legally. It's pointless to call the cops. They're just going to come and they're going to encourage the frauditor and say, keep going. So this is really ridiculous. It's quite a loophole the frauditors found. I, I want to start off by saying I do not give my consent to be filmed. Oh, well, you walked up to a camera. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you I, might not want to approach a camera then. I definitely don't want to approach a camera. Okay. Um, but 
I'm also sitting in the lobby here, uh -huh. and I am being filmed while in the lobby. And who are you? Uh, I'm the store manager. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hi. Nice Hi. to meet you. So, um, can I ask why it is that we are filming me when I'm saying I do not want to be Well, because I document right everyone that walks up to me like the other two that came out here. Okay. For my safety, you know. Okay, so I will not walk up to you. Okay. I'll step away All so right. that you feel safe. And now I'm no longer in front of your camera and you're still recording me. Well, because you're engaging conversation with me, that's why. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Um, so can I ask why it is that you are recording? Oh, well, like I told the other two, I can't discuss it right now because I'm busy working. Okay. Yeah. The attitude in the voice of this frauditor is disgusting. You are not busy working. You are harassing. Call a spade a spade, at least. How could you possibly call this work? Um, so we here in, uh, in, the, in the customer service kind of experience, we try yeah. to... Uh, be as respectful to the needs of our customers and yeah well i'm not i'm not in your possible. business i'm not interfering with your business um, but this is creating a situation in our store where is it we've had some people come into our store saying that they were confused by the fact that they were being filmed while being walked in uh -huh. um, and my employees feel uncomfortable with our store being filmed uh as well oh, okay i mean so, well in this um, day and like, age there's cameras everywhere we go right Totally, totally. Yeah, so. um, I would we uh, I would like to ask that you please stop recording our store or in our business. Yeah. Um, is that something that you could accommodate? Uh, like I told them, I'll, I'll be done when I'm done. Okay. Yeah. So what I'm hearing is that you are going to continue to, to record. Until I'm done, though. correct, yeah. Okay, cool. So we're going to be pulling our blinds down so that all well, that's of our perfectly customers fine. and our employees uh, be as safe as possible. Would you like some information about the law before you... Uh, I'm sorry? Would you like some information about the law to ease your discomfort? And here she goes again with that garbage nonsense document. I believe that a frauditor wrote this document because if you read it, I will do a deep dive in a later video, but this doesn't make any sense. This was not written by any lawmakers. It absolutely doesn't make sense. It's saying, oh, it's a misconception that you can't record kids and it specifically mentions record kids. It's a bunch of creeps that wrote this. Uh, no, I would just like to not be filmed. Okay, well then I suggest again, don't walk up to a camera. <laughs> uh, okay, once again, not walking in front of, I'm trying to walk away. But you're engaging me though, so okay. that's the thing. I document everyone that approaches me and I has a conversation with me. I appreciate me. your time, thank you. You as well. So I guess he uh, declined information on the law. There we go. And they went ahead and closed their blinds to create their own privacy. So there we go. Alright, well there you have it. I'm against it, press and handcuff and the church hater frauded her getting away with it again and i understand it's frustrating to see her continuously get away with it but we gotta expose it we have to show the world what's going on over here and the loophole that they found so anyways thanks for watching please like and subscribe it really helps the channel and we'll see you on the next video Frauders.